Nestled in the vast Atlantic off the coast of Africa is the picturesque island of Madeira. Also known as the Hawaii of Europe, this enchanting destination boosts majestic mountains that seem to touch the sky, sea cliffs that stand as nature's artwork, and black sand beaches that provide a unique coastal charm. Surrounded by this natural splendor, Madeira invites us to savor its culinary delights, from delectable seafood harvested from the Atlantic to the exotic fruits bursting with flavor. Madeira promises to be a feast for the senses. Today guys, our journey begins in Feng Shui. It's just a short drive from our cozy Airbnb here in Madeira. The anticipation is not only fueled by Madeira's natural wonders, but also by our personal connection. Kenny's great-great-grandparents once called this island home. Adding to this family's tale, those great-great-grandparents later moved to St. Vincent where Kenny was born. Their journey intertwined with our exploration, creating a very special bond with this captivating island. I, for one, am filled with excitement, but I can only imagine what Kenny is feeling. Let's go discover what Madeira has to offer, starting in the capital, Feng Shui. See you there. Alright guys, we just had a delightful breakfast at Art Caravel. This is a very artsy restaurant with quirky artwork everywhere, even on the ceiling. I had a scrumptious avocado toast with a latte which was light, but it was just enough to get me going. And I opted for a delicious vegetarian wrap with a latte. The wrap consists of beans, rice, and my favorite avocado with a side of lettuce and tomatoes. It was pretty good. But what I really liked about the restaurant was that there was an art gallery in the back of the restaurant to browse after. I don't know if you guys noticed the cable cars going by behind us, but that's a hint of what we're going to do next. Yeah, guys. So right now, what we're going to do is take the cable car up to Monte to explore and take in the beautiful views of Funchal. Yay! Let's do this! <laughs> Got off the cable cars to Monte, and the views up here are absolutely breathtaking. To die for. <laughs> the cable car reaches over 560 meters, which is over 1800 feet above sea level. Wow. It was inaugurated in the early 2000s to provide locals and visitors with a convenient access point to Monte's attractions. Now, the attractions are the Monte's Palace Tropical Garden. Uh, the Nossa Senora de Monte Church. I hope I said that right. <laughs> and and the legendary Tobogan Ride. Now wait until you see that thing. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> now we thought that the locals would pay a discounted price, but apparently not, right? It's the same for both. Everyone pays the same price of 12.50 euros one way and 18 euros round trip. The experience actually reminded me of the cable cars and the Paz Bolivia. The views are similar, but both unique. I truly enjoyed it. It was a relaxing ride. Now that we're here, we're gonna enjoy the views and go to the garden next and enjoy that. I heard it was absolutely stunning. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to that. So let's just get it let's done. Go.
All right, guys, so with our tickets into the garden, we get to taste Madeirian wine for free, two glasses. Uh, Gladys doesn't drink wine, so lucky me, I get to taste the sweet wine and the white wine. Well, the dry wine, so. All right, guys, red wine, dry wine. Let's go try them. Wow, wine with a view. Yeah, this is pretty here. All right, cheers. Sweet. This is a sweet wine and it is very tasty. Smooth as ever. And not too sweet actually because I don't like sweet wine. But yeah, this is pretty pretty nice. I wish I had something to clean my palate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I prefer this one. The dry wine? Yeah, it's way better. But they're both going down, guys, so. Wanna try it? No, I don't want that. Mm. Cheers! Cheers, guys. Alright guys, we just walked through the entirety of what I think is the most beautiful garden I've ever been in. We started in the Japanese garden and it's like a world of stones and flowing water that creates like a, a zen-like ambiance. As we walked, we came up an area called the Wishing Well and there we were surprised by flamingos! You know I love flamingos, guys! <laughs> they weren't shy by any means. They started showing off their wingspan and their beautiful colors, flapping their wings and dancing. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty awesome. Their presence definitely added an exotic feel. This garden is like a haven with ferns and some of them seem to be at least centuries old. And they're as tall as giants, to be honest. <laughs> you walk under these ancient trees that kind of tower overhead. We even passed one that fell over and it was like bridging like a small valley. It was absolutely beautiful. The sound of the waterfalls provided a soothing backdrop to our walk as we encountered ponds and cascading features throughout the garden. The contrast within the garden makes it one of a kind. Truly. Definitely one of a kind. Um, now we're going to check out the church. We heard it is a must-see, so we definitely have to do that. What yeah. do you think? We love churches. They're awesome inside, so... Oh my gosh, the only, this is the most unique means of transportation I've ever taken in my life. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool, fun. pretty cool. Oh my, at first I was a little scared, but I am so glad that we did it. Yeah, it's like a bobsled for like blacktop. <laughs> this, is awesome. this is awesome, man. We're on a little break right now. The guys are pulling us and we're just sitting here relaxing, talking to you guys. Um, hopefully it gets crazy again. <laughs> so, this is called the toboggan ride and it's a traditional ride here in Madeira where when people went to the upper, to, to Monte, the upper district, if they, after two, they could take this ride down and they were actually guided by these two skilled 
drivers and they're actually sitting in a car. Look at this. Look at this thing. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are. All right, it looks like we're going downhill uh -oh. again. Another steep hill, guys. Check it out. Oh, here we go. We just got off the toboggan ride from Monte and it was an absolute blast. blast. <laughs> that was one of the most unique modus transportation that we've ever encountered. Riding a wicker basket sled designed for navigating blacktop was truly remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun we couldn't help but to enjoy the unusual experience. I wish we could have taken it all the way down to the I thought it was too short. It was. The ride was smooth and the drivers were quite skilled. If given the chance, we'll happily do it all over again, again, and, again, and, again, and, again, again. and again and again and again and again. It was again. so awesome, guys. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, well, what an unforgettable experience for sure. Yeah. So now we have to take a bus down but wait, to Funchal. Wait. So huh? we come up to the end of the oh, ride, yes. and we end up at this cafe area here. Yeah. Right over here, guys. Yeah. Right there. I wanted salted codfish, but they didn't have any. But when you're done, believe it or not, when you're riding down, they take photos of you. And we got this awesome photo of us. I think <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, it's so worth it. How much we pay? It was 10 euros. Oh, yeah. So it's so worth the 10 euros. For the, the picture. picture. <laughs> <laughs> the ride was actually 35, 35 euros, euros for two for people. <laughs> and totally worth it. Totally worth it. And you know what? This is a traditional ride here. So back in the day, what, what would happen is that the residents of Monte would actually take this as a mode of transportation down to Punchal. It was amazing. It was so much fun, so yeah. much fun. You wanna do it again? Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here, hop on the bus, and we'll see you down in Punchal town. There's also a dish, a traditional fish traditional dish called ishpada, black scarlet. Black scarlet. Oh, is that the black long fish? Exactly. Yeah. It's very, very yeah. tasty, very it's not a fat fish like salmon. Okay, so we just arrived. We wrapped up our Monte adventure and now we find ourselves along the waterfront of Funchal. As we were walking, we pick up the delicious aroma of roasted chestnuts and we just couldn't resist grabbing a bag from a sidewalk vendor for just three euros. With warm chestnuts in hand, we found a perfect spot to settle down and take in the natural beauty. Alright guys, after scoffing down those chestnuts, we took a short walk to the Sao Thiago beach. Now this is a really charming beach where locals come to swim and it's adorned with black pebbles and it has spectacular waterfront and mountain views. There are even facilities like showers here. And guess what? The best part is, it's completely free to visit. And if that doesn't make you want to visit, let me point out that we're just a few steps away from the beautiful Fort Sao Thiago. This is a beautiful yellow fortress. It was constructed in the 1600s and was originally built to ward off pirate attacks. Today, it's just another beautiful piece of the Funchal puzzle and one where you can have dinner right inside at the restaurant of the fort. 
Okay. Now it's lunchtime and based on our taxi driver's recommendation, we make our way to Taberna Rural Restaurant in Old Town with the anticipation of trying the traditional dish that he recommended known as espada, translating to scalpel in English. We are so ready for a delicious experience. Alright, so we just stepped into the Mercado do Lavadores and instantly it's sensory overload. Mm -hmm. The stalls are full with vibrant, colorful fruits and vegetables. The air is filled with the aroma of spices and you can also pick up on the delicious sense of food that's being served at the restaurant. Jesus, I'm getting hungry already. Mm. There are so many vendors here still selling artisan crafts and unique souvenirs. It's really a cute, bustling market. However, I kind of get the sense that I walked into a tourist shop because the exotic fruits are being sold from 15 to 55 euros a kilo. Some of which you can find at a local supermarket for a fraction of the cost. Nevertheless, I still think it's a cool place to stop by and immerse yourself in the lively and authentic charm of Fujiao. For sure. Definitely for sure. a must visit, I think. Yeah, so now we're just gonna, we're just gonna continue on and explore Fujiao. And keep smelling all the fruits and maybe grab a bite to eat. <laughs> maybe again. grab a bite to eat. I mean, listen, we are stuffed because lunch was delicious. It was. So let's go. Let's go. As the day meandered, we decided to explore more of Fengshao. Our stroll unfolded with the city revealing its captivating charm at every turn. Fengshao, ever pedestrian friendly, welcomed us with cobblestone streets that led us through a tapestry of beautiful buildings. Our journey took us to the Cathedral Church, where history whispered through ancient stones, and then to a garden adorned with exotic trees and vibrant flowers, offering a moment of tranquility in the heart of the city. The Marine and Cruise Terminal painted a lively picture of marine time adventures, while a park overlooking the city unfolded as a serene oasis amidst urban life. Lost in the city spell, we suddenly found ourselves hungry and we decided to return to Old Town for dinner. After enjoying the traditional scabbard fish for lunch, I was excited for more. But Kenny, always up for an adventure, wanted to try something new. Okay, this is my fish soup. It comes with tuna, salmon, and scabbard. It looks like it has some nice potatoes in there. And it's well seasoned, look at that. It just looks delicious. Can't wait to try it. What did you get? I got the vegetable soup. And I honestly don't know what kind of vegetables they put in the soup, but I already tasted it. I tasted it already and it does taste pretty good. Oh, good. I haven't tasted mine yet. Oh my god. I've had soup in another restaurant and that was pretty good. This is equally as good. So it seems like soup in Madeira is a thing here where everyone seems to cook it and it's delicious. Oh, it really is good. What's best about the soup is just the flavoring from the seasoning. It's delicious. All right, guys. So the other thing you have to try when you're in Portugal, especially Madeira, is the octopus. This is grilled octopus. Gladys got the scabbard, that ugly fish that she's fallen that in love I have with. For lunch, and I'm totally. She's having it again for <laughs> yeah. She's having it again for dinner, and we got some. Uh, these, these are supposed to be sweet potato fries, but it looks like I got three fries, guys, which is a little ridiculous for my taste. But some mixed vegetables. So this is actually a flour that's made with water and something else. I can't remember what it is, but I'll find out. And Gladys is taking pictures of the food. 
at night when Kenny's asleep, I just look at my pictures of all the food and be like, oh, I'm totally having that again, that again. <laughs> I can believe that. Well, bon appetit. Someone is gonna have this I'm cupboard. I'm so excited you realize I had two knives. <laughs> I enjoy salmon, but this has become my favorite fish. Delicious. It has plantain and it's sprinkled with passion fruit. Mm -hmm. Very tasty, not too sweet, just right actually. Delicious. Alright guys, dinner was delicious. Now we're gonna have Milo Frito, translated as fried corn in Portuguese. It is a popular dish here in Madeira. It involves frying the cubes of polenta, which is a dish made of grounded cornmeal. It's grounded until it becomes crispy on the outside, yet soft on the inside. It smells yummy. The cornmeal is typically seasoned before frying and is served as a side dish, but can be enjoyed all by itself as well. And tonight, we are having it as dessert. I just want to show you guys, it smells really, really good. Mm. Crispy on the outside, nice and soft. It looks like, like bread on the inside. See that? I'm going to taste that for you, right? Mm. Oh my gosh, this is good. This is really good. Kenny was like, we're not gonna have any because it's fried, you can see a little bit of oil. But, like I say, anything fried tastes yummy. <laughs> this is really good. One more bite. A big bite. Kenny's staring at me. <laughs> I don't want him to have it. Isn't that good? It is. Where did you come I see. from? <laughs> I see. I don't know. It looks like a sponge cake almost. Yeah. It reminds me of like a relleno de papa for you Spanish people. Oh my god. Put a picture up there, you can this see what good. I'm talking about. Jesus, he just ripped it out of my hand. Oh, it was good. Right? It's yeah, delicious. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's almost like a potato. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. The consistency inside is like a potato. Yeah, but it's so crispy on the outside and it's well seasoned. Yeah, guys. This is real good. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna end the video here. Alright, guys, changing plans. We're about to leave, shut the video down, and actually get out, check, and to leave. To <laughs> meet a bail and get out of here. However, the chef saw that we were filming and decided to offer us two desserts and two a couple drinks. drinks. Yeah, yeah. And so he would like our opinions because this was made by him. So um, he gave me a cheesecake made with yogurt and it has passion fruit sauce all over it. It's a homemade cheesecake. Can't wait to dig into that. <laughs> and for you? I have a cake called merengue, which is made of egg whites, which I love eggs. And it consists of mangoes and sprinkled with a little bit of passion fruit, like juice, right? Yeah, yeah. It looks really yummy and it smells delicious. Um, they also provided us with a local drink here, a shot, it's called Punche. Punche. Punche, thank okay. you. Punche. Um, I don't know what it consists of, but I'll leave it. I think it's alcohol. No, it is alcohol, oh, yeah. That's for, that's for me. That's for candy because I don't drink. And also, rum, and the bottle's called 97. But what's really cool is that the water is hot, and they served it to us like this. So he's going to be having warm rum. Yeah, I can't wait, guys. <laughs> Are you going to be able to dry? Or are you just going to taste? You're not yeah, gonna we're just going to taste. But um, yeah. All right, All right, all right. so let's get, let's get Gladys digging into her dessert. Well, let me show you guys. Yeah. It's so delicious, right? I'm gonna just tilt it over. I'm an egg lover, so I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. You know what? Let's get a close up for you guys. Hold on. Oh gosh, don't be looking at my face like that. I get so happy when it's dessert time. <laughs> I don't have dessert often. Oh my, look at this, guys. Candy. 
mushy, sweet. Tastes really good. I won't be able to eat it all because I'll get a major sugar rush, but it's definitely a dessert that I would recommend to try. Can I try your cheesecake? <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching that yet. All right, it's gonna be Kenny's turn and then we can sit here and just enjoy our dessert. And what's the name of this restaurant? Oh, yeah, duh, we, got, we didn't tell you guys, the restaurant is All Velo Pescado. Let me see the what? card. Oh, yeah, I'm probably butchering the name, but All Velo Pescadero. Kenny's been so patient. Kenny's yeah. not a sweet guy. I mean, he is a sweet guy, but he doesn't like sweets. I don't have a sweet tooth, guys. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. But, um, I'm gonna try this. Sounds good. It's yogurt based with Hold the uh, passion fruit over it. So let's see. Let me, let's get a close up before Ooh. you tear it up. Look at this. Oh, it's falling apart almost. Mm, my mouth Look is watering. Cheesecake. Guys, it's delicious. I'm not a big sweet guy. I don't have a sweet tooth, but this is just perfect. Mm. I can taste the passion fruit on top. It gives it that fruity taste of just a little bit. And the fact that it's kind of like burnt on the top, it looks, see that browning on the top? Oh my gosh, it's kind of like, it's not crispy or crunchy, it's just, just like a coating of something. All right, enough of the dessert. Yeah, this is good. Time to drink. You're gonna love this. Oh my gosh. Teasing me. And this now, it's a very popular drink here. It's called Kunche. And this one is made with, with orange juice, lemon, and honey. And it's from a, a rum that Actually, they actually brought out the bottle and showed it to me. Uh, but yeah, let me give it a shot and see. Fifteen percent alcohol, guys. Fifty, right? Fifteen, I believe. Oh, I heard fifteen. That. I thought it was fifty. Yeah, this is good. It's fruity and it's not too sweet. I kind of get the impression that you can drink a whole glass of this, not thinking anything and then it'll just creep up on you and you find yourself knocked out somewhere. It looks like in like the drink Alizé. Yeah, reminds me of the old Alizé. But uh, it's very good, very good. Mm. Alright, next. Next drink. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get Kenny drunk tonight. Next. <laughs> Alright, so this is another rum and they serve it like this. This is warm water, hot water in this glass. So it keeps this warm. Yeah. I can feel it, it's warm, and... It's strong. It goes down smooth, it's not sweet. For me, it tastes a little bit like medicine. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. But um, I, can see, I can see how it could be enjoyed. It kind of reminds me of uh, a bitter Jack Daniels Honey Tennessee. But that's sweet. And this is kind of bitter, but uh, yeah, it's not bad. Back to dessert. This is good. Mm. That was yummy. Delicious. <laughs> I totally enjoyed the cheesecake. Uh, I enjoyed both. Cheesecake. Stuff, so yeah, yeah. Know. See all that sugar? My... I'm like super hyper right now. <laughs> she ate half my cheesecake. But that's all right. Um, I was thinking that after the cheesecake, I mean after the dessert, we were going to go home, but Kenny got a little bit of liquor in the system, so I'm thinking maybe we could go party time. dancing, like <laughs> your own time. <laughs> nice try, nice try. But yeah, so um, the restaurant name is Old the Home or Old... Old the Hall Pescador. Thank you. You're very welcome. It's the little guy's excuse him. I'm a little liquid up. I'm gonna say that now. <laughs> Baby, you would think you had like five drinks. Get it together, would I, you? I am such a lightweight. Trust me, this is. He is. He's a, 
his drinking is like red wine, white wine, little drinks like that one, like not, the Alizade. Not kind of, rum. Not yeah, rum. not rum. But um, it's cute to see that that old big giggly. It's a little crazy. Um, and that being said, I think uh, that's it. Yeah, right? thanks for hanging out with us as always. And we'll see you guys on the next one. See you later, guys. Ciao. Bye-bye.